Welcome to episode 2 of Underrated PSVR Games. You guys seemed to like the first episode, so I decided to continue with the series. Today we'll be looking at 5 more Underrated PSVR Games, so let's get into it. Kreda Vendetta Rising is a hack and slash action RPG that puts you into a world filled with monsters called Kratas. You choose between three different characters with their own unique attacks and abilities. The game is mission based. You start out in a hub area filled with shops and NPCs, and then at any time you can start a new mission. The gameplay is really fun, and most of all it's really challenging. The game is pretty much known for its grind and challenge, which I personally enjoy. The game has over 50 hours of gameplay, and it really is a must have for players who enjoy action RPGs or games that challenge you. Darknet is a puzzle game that has you hacking into databases by deploying nodes. This game is one of the most unique puzzle games I've played. Each level has a core, and you have to place nodes that spread to the core, but there are security nodes that stop your nodes from spreading. You can purchase upgrades and special nodes with money you collect from hacking, and they're really fun. This game might seem complicated when I explain it to you, but it's actually quite simple and addicting. I found myself playing for long amounts of time, just because of how calm and addicting it is. This game doesn't really feel like it needed VR to work, but VR helps to make this game more of a relaxing experience. Just trust me on this one, it's a great game. Crystal Rift is a dungeon crawler that has you trying to escape this seemingly endless dungeon. You'll encounter monsters, puzzles, strange notes, and a bunch of random spooky stuff. Especially playing at night. Oh! oh ah! The game offers hours of gameplay for a really cheap price. Corix is PSDR's first tower defense game. You put down towers, weapons, and send out troops to collect resources so you can pay for the defenses. The game can get pretty challenging, and every time I play it, I find myself playing for a lot longer than I anticipated. And Corix also has online multiplayer, where you can either fight with your friends or work with them. The multiplayer is fantastic, and it's given me some of my favorite PSVR moments. Yeah. What is that? What the? It's like a. What the hell? Whoa, you I think cheater! He you. He's just been saving up to buy a nuke, essentially. If I could throw my move controller at him, I would. Discovery is a Minecraft clone. It doesn't really do anything that Minecraft hasn't already done, and this game will pretty much become useless if Minecraft ever comes to PSVR. But I don't want to devalue this game too much. It does a good job of replicating the Minecraft experience, and while the game only has a creative mode, it's a fun and chill game. They give you a lot of blocks to mess around with, and a beautiful world with dynamic lighting. If you like creating things in VR, or if you like Minecraft, this is a great choice. And the developer recently announced that another mode is coming to the game, so it's only going to get better. That's it for episode 2 of Underrated PSVR Games. I still have plenty of games to talk about, and the list is only getting bigger, so stay tuned for more.